Namaste friends and I hope things are great with you. Now let's talk about moon in the seventh house. The seventh house is also called the Kalatra Bhava. Kalatra means uh, marriage, literally means marriage. Uh, but then the seventh house also means uh, your uh, legal bindings, uh, your partnerships, your mainly business in tradings and uh, your or the feelings of uh, love and uh, the opposite sex is also seen in the seventh house. You see, the moon is the, the divine giver of emotions and immense uh, softness and, you know, politeness, mal-mannered and all that. So, what happens when moon comes to the seventh house, it also bring sentiments and gentleness in the aspects of the house. Uh, besides, a uh, moon will also bring uh, trueness and beauty to the uh, to one's life. All right? the, um, the person born in this placement having this moon in the seventh house are believed to be very much sensitive. You know, from the very core, especially from the relationships, they have a very much loving attitude. I mean, they are, they are natural, they are very romantic people. Um, it's um, Romance is always in the air for them. They, they always find time to impress their spouse. And uh, in, it, it's, it's a very auspicious yoga, if you have this. Uh, but uh, also to note that the seventh house also is ruled by Venus and Mercury. Now, what happens in Shukra and Buddha? joins with moon. Sukra and Buddha, Venus and Mercury together uh, is to be said um, in the books that if you have Venus and Mercury in, in, one, in one place it forms the uh, sun. It has the same energy of the sun. And so if the, the sun is normally referred as the Mal Malafik Raha because for the fact that if it's too strong, if the energy is too strong from sun, it will weaken the uh, graha which is associated or it is conjuncted with okay so if it's too strong then th there's going to be an element of ego together with the sensitivity and which creates suspiciousness in, in one's life okay um, so uh, let's see what else um, these people or rather these people who have uh, moon the seventh house make strong relations you know they, they would normally leave deep impacts upon one, uh, one another through the affectionate attitude but they are you know but they are quite hasty in the relationship you know why because the moon is emotional anything that you do um, anything if you, you when you have this combination you feel that you're always um, trying to you're trying to analyze what your spouse thinks you know you, even even when he or she just walks uh, or sits or you know you know the hand gestures that he or she does you will try to analyze why is this person walking like this? Why is this person's hand gesture such way? Is he or she trying to tell me something? You know, this sort of unnecessary um, thoughts will be coming. As a matter of fact, they they be just walking, they were just sitting, you know, just casually. But then your mind is controlled by the moon so strong, and when it hits in the seventh house, your trust towards your spouse would not be strong. You you lack the trust. Although you'll be very loving and caring, but then you you will not trust your spouse that much. And that will take a long time, or when your moon is in a strong dasa, only to realize that truth. Uh, until then, you might feel this um, sense of uh, lack of trust to your spouse as well. Uh, besides this, um, you may possess a hidden crave for love and to be intimate relationship with, in, in, a, in a love and marriage. Um, life you know you you expect that so if you get the wrong partner and your partner is not uh, too loving and, and romantic and all that then naturally there's a lot of breakups uh, that is why it's important to analyze one's charts to see uh, what are the um, what are the what are the um, feelings what natural temperament one will have in order to get things moving uh, which is why I always say that you know, before you're getting married or when you're in a relationship or even before getting into a relationship, you must analyze your chance, you know, because there's a lot of hidden scientific truths behind this. Certain things you can truly avoid, actually, before even considering. Uh, you know, luck and uh, free will uh, is uh, sometimes questionable. You know, these things do really exist. Um, what else? So again, the the uh, seventh house belongs to Venus and Mercury, uh, which also forms the uh, the sun. You know the 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 power of the sun. And um, if if the placement of the moon towards a positive direction, then it will bring pleasing benefits from the from from your relatives. You know you'll have a good, amiable. Um, you know your relative will naturally help you. Okay.
okay this is uh, it is very much seen if you have this if it's positive but if it's not of course it's going to be worse your 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 the pain and sorrow you'll go through is mainly from your relatives okay um you will be also seen as a um, strong the part of finance but not into much uh, your your main business will be trading overseas or trading outside you no know, foreign trades is be one of the best if you if you're not doing that if you're doing some other business and it's not working out then check if you have moon in the 7th house because you'll do great if you do foreign trading you know foreign business is one of the best for you um now this placement of of the moon in the 7th also uh is uh, obedient and truly devoted to to one's mother and and uh you know and and uh, of course if it's adverse then you're going to hate your mom and uh, but then if it's on a good uh in the dignity is strong for the moon and all that you will naturally be, be of service to your mother you will really take care of your mother whatever she needs you will take care you know you, you're constantly giving a call or she's staying in your house you know she you're always looking after your mom's and you have that natural uh not only love but also very set a uh, very strong feeling uh in your in your life see there's a caveat about ma- getting married here now you see there is to be said that if you if you if you're married before 24 when you if you or rather if you if you should not marry uh uh before 24 in your life because it will bring a lot of uh, problems especially in your conjugal relationship you because you're not matured at that point of time uh maturity for moon comes in certain times because it's all about emotional balance so if you get married before 24 you're going you you'll foresee a lot of problems as a matter of fact uh relationships doesn't doesn't stay if it's 24 let it uh, let it be after 24 whatever relationship married or love or whatever it is you know make sure it's after 24 in that way it will avoid unnecessary pains and sorrows okay um what else what else oh yeah okay uh, last the you know these people uh, who are having moon in the 7th house uh, because the moon is the uh, is the karaka for uh, water uh, and milk because moon is also represents white and you know it's it's referred to milk and water so if you if you if you're doing um business something to do with milk or water Uh, and you want to gain profit it would not give you much you know because it's uh, the moon and uh, represents although it is to be seen that the moon represents uh, water and milk but then these things these two things are divine if you take this divinity and make a business out of it for money and gains it's going to give you um disappointment so that's why i'm saying if you're doing these two business and naturally you would not make much money on it you know consider doing something else which will you know really improve it as i was saying do it foreign trades you know foreign trading is one of the best for you um yeah so that's a little bit about what i think uh, moon would do to you on your seventh house i hope it's been beneficial I hope to meet you soon thank you namaste